Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to build a basic two wheel drive chassis. To start off, you're going to need four wheels, six gears, and depending on the amount of rotations you want, your gear sizes may differ. You'll also need three 16 inch channels, one 12 inch channel, a pack of one half inch screws, a 64 millimeter and a 288 millimeter flat, two motors, four 2D axle shafts, eight TX axles, eight five by 16 inch screws, four motor hubs, two motor mounts, eight bronze bushings, and a pack of lock nuts. The first thing you wanna do is take two 16 inch channels and set them parallel to each other. Then take a 16 inch channel and place its fourth hole from the end about 11 holes up on one of the 16 inch channels. Now you would want to flip it over and secure both channels together with two screws. I wouldn't repeat this step to the other side just yet because in the future when you want to attach the bumper, it makes it easier to have a loose side that you can shift in order to fit your bumper in your frame. Now we're going to start on the wheels. Obviously the first thing you're going to need is a wheel. Next you want to place a 2D axle hub on the top and then secure it with two screws. The next thing you want to do is stick the 2D axle shaft through the wheel. And now you just want to secure the shaft by screwing it in. Don't forget to make sure that the screw is being screwed in on the flat part of the shaft. This makes it more stable. Next you want to add the gear on and again secure it with some screws. You want to repeat this process four times. Now we're going to start working on the bumper. You want to place the 288 millimeter flat on top of the 12 inch channel and then secure it with a screw. Next grab the 64 millimeter flat and secure it to the channel with some screws. Also, don't forget to add another screw for the 288 millimeter flat on the other side. Here's where you want to insert the bumper, and like I said before, just adjust the 16 inch channel to fit it, and secure both 16 inch channels using the same process as before. You also want to secure the bumper just like this to both sides. And here is what your end product should look like. Now for adding the wheels, the first thing you want to do is place two bronze bushings as shown above. You then want to take your wheel and stick it through the bronze bushings about halfway so that you can add the two TX axles. After you add on both TX axles, you can slide the wheel through the second bronze bushing. After this, you want to adjust the wheel so that the bronze bushing and the TX axle are pushed up against the channel on both sides. Now you just want to tighten the TX axles and I always like to give the wheels a good shake afterwards to make sure everything is secure. You want to repeat this process four times. Starting with the motors, you first want to put on the motor mount. Now you want to put on the motor hub. I added on the gear next before tightening the hub, but I would personally suggest adding the gear on after because it's easier to tighten the hub that way. Now you want to use the screws to secure the gear. When attaching the motor to the wheel, you want to first align the gear of the motor to the gear of the wheel. Then you want to screw it in with two 5 by 16 inch screws. repeat this process to the other side and you will then have your basic two-wheel drive chassis. 
Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. If you guys want to see more videos like this, just give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below if you guys have any questions.